This is Raptor News, and today we're going to be talking about the fiery trial that everybody has to go through. Every one of you has to pass over and through the fire of hell. Everybody has to. And crossing over hell is a trial for mankind. Unfortunately, this will be happening sooner than we all think. And everybody wishing that the end would hurry up and come is going to retract those thoughts shortly. The true meaning of salvation is not saved from Satan, but rather saved from the flames. Saved from the flames. So we're going to get into it, you know, because just like I said, in and in shortly, the fire is coming to this earth. And I say it again. See, people think, oh, rap news is full of shit because of the, you know, um, planet hell and the meteorites and everything else. And no, it's coming. Fire is coming on this earth. So let's read about it. And then just like I said, y'all saw the debate and stuff that I had, I went through with that uh, dude, Ash, and, and basically how you give him all the information to God, but he cannot seem to hear God. You know, and that's beyond insanity because watch this. They think that they can do the fire. They think that some sissy is going to save them from the fire. And watch. I guarantee you, Jesus don't save. I guarantee you that. Watch. Zechariah 3 1. And then let's see if we can see Jesus in any of these scriptures that's real. Not the infiltrated ones. You know, and then you'll see that the Bible is totally at war with itself. Zechariah 3 1. And he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him so what's happening so if I'm the priest right one of them you know and uh, I'm the messenger I didn't say I was the prophet I said I'm the messenger you know and I'm also the warner and the watchman you know we have many messengers I didn't say prophet I said messengers Anybody who's bringing a message like this is a messenger. If I'm bringing a mail, I'm a messenger. So Joshua is the high priest. Satan is standing at his right hand to resist him. What is his right hand? His straight path. Satan is standing at or on his straight path to stop him. He don't give a damn about them fools that sold they soul and drinking and partying and, 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 and fornicating and you are a hypocrite and all hypocrites is going to hell. What is a hypocrite? A person who know to do what's right but you still gay, you still carnal, you still doing what's wrong. You ain't gonna play pretend with this fire, y'all. You know, and this is so serious that you will want to hear what I'm saying. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke you, O Satan. Even the Lord that has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is not this a brand plucked out for the fire? What does that mean? All Satan is and all his progeny is is walking fuel for the fire. You know, I used to think, okay, it was just the bad people. You know, and, and they're all going to be going to hell and blah, 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 blah. And, and it, it, it's the majority of people. Because they're not even people. they beast. Keep listening. Carefully listen, man. 1 Corinthians 3.13 is one of my favorite verses. You know, because it scares the shit out of me and it should scare the shit out of you. It's not wrong. Even though it's by fucking Paul of Tarsus. Every man's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire. This is what I'm saying. The fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. So we're going through the fiery trial. And so other parts of the Bible say think that is not strange to go through this fiery trial. We are going through a fiery trial. What is a trial? So everybody think the, the meteors go it's gone oh oh we pa it's passed over 
the indignation has passed. God takes his time with everything, people. Everything. And you're going to have to get through this damn fire without being burned. How are you going to get through the fire without being burned? You have to be like that calf. That cow that we slaughter. Without blemish. All the people that are frauds. You you a, a crackhead but you hiding it. You a dyke but you hiding it. You gay, you a faggot, you sleeping with men. Here and there you got a wife but you hiding it. Oh, you, you hooked on chronics, you a weed smoker, and you're hiding it, or you ain't even hiding it, you don't give a damn. We cannot do intoxicants. Just like I said, it was infiltrated and told you you could drink wine. But look up drunkard in the Bible, because what is a drunkard? Oh, I know I'm not a drunkard. Every alcoholic would tell you they not a drunk. Every last one. But they are. For the we can't do intoxicants. For the day shall declare it, and it is going to be revealed by the fire. So the fire is coming, and when it burn and scourge your ass, then you're going to know that you a dyke and a faggot, and God didn't want that. Then you're going to know that you was a habitual liar. Then you're going to know you was a fornicator, or an adulterer, or a rapist, or a molester, or a fucking murderer. Because the fire is going to show that you are. It is going to hit targeted sinners. Maybe every last one. And I want you guys to listen carefully, man, today. Psalms 11.6. Let me speed it up. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares of fire and brimstone. The wicked ain't just the white man. The wicked are sinners. You know. And in horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. And just like I said, if you don't know what the white dude was doing, he was trying to get Gentiles on his side. To say, look, this, this, this nigger, is, he, he, he's, he's wicked, he's horrible, and he's a damn racist. Come out from among him, my people. Come back over here to Satan. If I was y'all, I wouldn't do that, man. Because at least you're going to hear the truth over here, the blatant truth and then just like God always give me signs and he always give me um, um, events he just he just show them to me last minute thing and, I, and as soon as he give it to me hell of a watchman I'm coming to you and telling you right away right away because uh, as I sow to save people from the fire so shall I be uh, saved God willing Obadiah 118 listen carefully black man and the house of Jacob shall be a fire. Yakub, right? It's gonna be on fire. You you gotta go through that fire, Jacob. And the house of Joseph a flame. Israel, you gotta go through that fire. Your house gonna be on in flames. And the house of Esau for a stubble. Let's stop. Pump your brakes right there. What is a stubble? The white man, same as Satan. Watch this. Where, where you go? You're right here. Is not this a brand plucked out for the fire? What is a brand? It's a it's a stick. It's a stubble. Right? That's what a stubble is. It's like things that little things that you use to keep the fire going. It burns quickly. And what he's saying? Esau is going to be used to keep the fire going. This fire is going to become a punishment, Jacob. Joseph, Israel. It's a trial. When you go through the, this trial, you're going to go through some hell of pain because meteorites and everything else is going to hit you. You are going to catch fire. All your hair and everything is going to be burned off of your body. Your skin and everything is going to be melted and you ain't going to die. And devour them. It's going to do what? It's, it's going to kindle in them. And devour them. And there shall not be any ash and all the rest of you. 
remaining of the house of Esau. For God has spoken that. Y'all can say God is a liar and Christ is going to save. Is Christ going to whoop God's ass and stop him? Again, is Christ going to whoop God's ass and stop him and say, Lo, God, I supersede you. I'm saving the Gentile. Y'all can keep wishing, man. Jew wish. You know. Jeremiah. Again. Jacob, your house is on fire. Joseph and Israel, your house is in flames. You're going to be burning. You got to go through the fire. There is no escape, people. Jeremiah 30, 11. For I am with thee, says the Lord, to save you. Though I make a full end of the nations. Again. None shall be remaining of the house of Esau. The nations. I'm going to make a full end of they asses. And he said, well, you ain't going to even remember them no more. Does Jesus save? Oh, God's a liar, huh? Gentiles. And, 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 and Jesus, the man, uh, is telling the truth when the Bible says, let every man be a liar and let God be true. It don't count in this case. When it's saying you, you are made for the fire. You Gentile are fuel for the fire. You know. You can play with the homosexuality. You can play with the hate and the racism. You can play with trying to get under wrapped a new skin. And make them yell and act stupid and everything else. So you think. But I'm calculated as fuck motherfucker. I know what I'm doing. And I'm using you. And I'm talking about Ash. To show you, you. Like I said, I am going to test you to see if you are true. I knew what I was doing with you. That's why I was talking calm. You failed. You're going to hell. And believe me, mark my words. You are going to hell. And he said, how can you tell people they're going to hell? Because we're reading it. Esau, you are for hell. You will kindle the fire. You are its fuel. All you nations, Gentiles, you are going to hell. I am making a full end of you. You think you're going to make it up into the kingdom when he destroy you? Everybody getting destroyed is going to hell. But I will correct you, Israel, in measure. Bit by bit. So this is, this is going to take time, people. And will not leave thee altogether unpunished. You done done some wrong. You ain't getting a pass because you black. And watch what he says about you. Jeremiah 30, 14. Talking about Israel, Jacob, Judah, Joseph. All your lovers have forgotten you. All the fornicating and adultery and shit is done. You are a burnt fucking wiener over a fucking flame. They seek you not. Why? Now we, we, we understand the fear of the Lord. We understand when we burnt to a crisp that God wasn't playing. Nah, I ain't trying to do no adultery, no fornication, and no homosexuality no more. We are burnt to a crisp. For I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy. Thrust your ass through. These meteorites is going to rip your ass to shreds. And you ain't gonna die, Israel. He gonna make an end of them. They gonna die. But you gonna fry. They're gonna die. And you're gonna fry. And when they die, then they fry. In hell for eternity. They will become the fuel that keeps the planet lit. An eternal fire. They are going to become the eternal flames of hell. Real talk. With the chastisement of a cruel one. For the multitude of your iniquity is real. Because thy sins were increased. Watch this. All your lovers have forgotten you. What, what he said to women. Uh, it's going to be seven or ten women to one man. And all they're going to be wanting is look. Give us your name. Before 
You know, you're too nice. No, you're too this. Your teeth ain't shiny enough. No, you're too short. No, your dick ain't long enough. It ain't gonna be that in the end. It's gonna be, look, I, I, I need to get married so I don't piss God off. Sir, you know, you know. Now you looking at it like you should look at it. Can I can I take you in, in marriage? Can can you marry me for for your name's sake? For your name's sake. Not your height, not your color, not your hands and your foot size, not your penis size. For your name's sake. And I ain't short. For all you niggas, oh he must be short. Fuck you. I'm six foot three, nigga. A perfect fucking size. Malachi 4 1. For me. Because, like I said, I tell everybody, I'm happy with what I see in the mirror. Thank you, God. Malachi 4 1. <coughs> For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, everybody. And all the proud. Yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be a stubble. So you're hearing that word stubble, a burning brand. And and the day that cometh shall burn them up. Burn us and them. The fire the fire devoureth and consumes before he comes. Uh, nobody he gotta cleanse you of sin before he does this arrival. Unless you already didn't purge yourself. And said, and that, that's where I'm at right now. I know that we are so close and we it's, it seems like we're within hours or days. You know what I mean? We are that close. And you know what I'm doing? Purging the hell out. And I, I, I wish that you would to uh fasten to, to remove any uh demonic shit, any bad uh whatever hoodoo that's around me, that's connected, any negativity, I'm not going to even sleep with my wife, man, and that, that is just the truth, you know, I'm, the, I'm just fasting, you know, I want to purify myself as pure as I, it, it ain't, it ain't sin to sleep with my wife, you know, but I, you know, if I already have a problem with carnal, I, I'm just want to stay away from it, you know, and, and just to please God, to say, hey, look, you know, I'm trying, my best you know no lying no deception not that I'm gonna do that anyway but nothing I don't want to do nothing right now if you ain't there with me you are going to burn like a motherfucker and you will regret that you ain't there with me what a fast is doing it, it, the Bible says it gets rid of those major demons don't you know the demons is causing you to sin you know those entities inside of you and they in you. That, that, that little thought of uh, smoking weed, getting high, fornicating, being gay, that ain't yours. It's a demon that's assigned to you that he gonna stay with you until you burn up. And he's gonna keep whispering that this is your desire. He putting fake desires on you. Isaiah 47, 14. Behold, they shall be as stubble for the fire shall burn them. The fire shall burn them they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. Watch this. And after news, are you racist? Rap what the fuck did I have to do with me? Fuck racism and all that small fucking brained thought. You know. We got these this fire to worry about right here. You know. Blessed is the man that passes over this without being burned. Blessed is he. I'm trying to be in that number right there. Matthew 25, 41. And people, like, you like, I'm Israel. I ain't gonna. He already told you, Israel. Let's go back up to it, man. He already told you. Jacob, you're going to burn. Joseph, you're going to burn. Israel, you're going to burn. Esau, you're going to be burned and to get destroyed and go to fucking hell. He already told you it was his fuel. We're going to get to that, man. So at least everybody know who the fuck they are and what you're going to go through. 
Then the king will turn to those on the left hand and say, and that is the left, the left hand, away with you, you cursed ones, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his demons. Watch. The NLT version says what? It, ain't, it don't say angels. It says demons. And I told you those demons were what? Gentiles. The progeny of Satan. He used his own kids, his family. He's a dirty bastard to fuck over the world, to try to stop God's people. Watch this. Him and his progeny, the devil and his demons, do what? Stand at the right side to resist you, black man. To resist you, Israel, Judah, Sheikh. Him and his children. To tell you that you're wrong. No, it's Jesus Christ. They there on your straight path. You here, you turn to God. Who gonna do what? Send this fire down. Jesus ain't sending down shit. God is. Anybody see Jesus in this big fire that's coming this trial? No, every time I said the Bible gets serious, that damn fucking phony disappear. And this is the Bible and, and the Torah. NLT version. Isaiah 9.19 the land will be blackened by the fury of the Lord of Heaven's armies. The people will be fuel for the fire. Who are the people? Gentiles. A burning brand. And no one will spare even his own brother. Nation will rise against nation. It's true. For the people say they don't believe in the New Testament. It's right here in the old one. Ezekiel 21.32 you will be fuel for the fire. Gentile. Jesus ain't going to save you. God, man, that's so hard. It, it, you know, because I'm, I'm going to look down on you in hell. The people of heaven are going to be able to look down on the people of hell and see you vividly. And I'm going to tell you. Didn't I warn you the whole damn time to stop, Gentile? With all your fucking shenanigans. Your blood will be shed in your land, Gentile. You will be remembered no more. For I, the Lord, has spoken it. Is he talking to us? No, he said he ain't going to make a full end to us. But he's going to punish us in due measure. But to them, you are fuel for the fire. You people are fuel for the fire. You were made to go to hell. The, the multitudes, the majority of people was made, according to the Bible, to go to hell. We're reading it right now. The wicked. Psalms 917 shall be turned into that fucking hell. And all the fucking Gentiles that forgot God. You don't even know God according to the New Testament. You always transgressing the law. And he already told you it was going to be destroyed. You want to follow all this goddamn heresies and conjectures and hearsay. And fuck all that goddamn shit. It's, look, it's only what God says that matters. Fuck Jesus. Fuck all the goddamn saints. Because they ain't. They gonna pass through that fucking fire as well. He gonna wake them up from their grave so they can pass through that shit. They ain't escaping because they dead. You know. You guys are gonna be turned into hell. Few of y'all, says the book, are gonna make it out. Few of y'all. Few. I'm talking about a handful. If you sinning, know goddamn well it ain't talking about you. Again, people, we are passing through this fiery trial. It is coming on us. We all got to go through this fire. The meteorites is going to burn this whole fucking earth up. The earth is going to be consumed in fire. And it says it shall burn like an oven. And all the proud is going to decease. Because you're going to be turned into stubble. You can hold your head up and be proud of your dick, your titties, your ass, your money, your job position, your shoes, your clothes, your weed, 
whatever you fucking proud of. But you're going to burn for that shit. Humble is the way, people. Meek is the way. You know, sinless and blameless without blemish is the way. I'm fasting my ass off, man. You know, I'm restraining myself from everything right now. Everything that I possibly can. And I'm shaking in my damn boots. If I was a weed smoker, a fornicator, a sinner, man, I would die right now. No one was finna come on this earth, man. Strap the news. You've been warned.